Hi guys, welcome to another maths tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at some problem solving questions involving quadratic graphs. Um, there is other videos on solving quadratic equations, but in this case we're going to deal with just the graphs and mainly problem solving style questions. So if we have a look at this question here, past exam paper question, um, it gives us the capital letter A and it gives us a height, but it's also in the shape of a parabola with this equation. And it's asking us write down the coordinates of Q and R. So Q and R are the roots of the equation. So we've got the equation here. So if we write this one down, we have Y equals X minus 8 brackets 2 minus X. Now, Q and R are the roots. So the roots mean that the Y coordinate is 0. So if you make Y equal 0, so sub that in there. So we get 0 equals X minus 8 brackets 2 minus X. Now, if we split these two brackets apart, we get x minus 8 equals 0, or 2 minus x equals 0. So x will equal 8, or minus x will equal minus 2, so x will equal 2. Now, the question explicitly asks for the coordinates of q and r. So you must write what the coordinates are. So Q is first. So Q must be the 2. So it must be 2 and the Y value is 0. And the coordinates of R must be 8, 0. Okay? So that's part A answered. Part B now asks you to calculate the height of the letter. So the height is, now this is minus 16. So from there to there put this in red, is 16. 16 here. However, we need to find this point here. So we need this value of y, and then we add that on to the 16. And thankfully, this is the turning point. So like with any quadratics, if you know the roots, you know the x value of the turning point because the x value of the turning point lies directly in the middle of the roots. Okay, so if we add another page, um, our roots were, so the turning point x value is going to be the two roots, so it's going to be 2 and 8, so it's going to be 2 plus 8, divided by 2, which will give you 5. Now that is the x value of the turning point. For the y value, just substitute in to the equation. So it's x minus 8 brackets 2 minus x. So if we substitute in x as 5, let's see what happens. So 5 minus 8 bracket 2 minus 5 5 minus 8 is minus 3, and 2 minus 5 is also minus 3. So minus 3 times minus 3 is positive 9. So that means that this value here is 9. So h, the value of h, must be 16 plus 9. So h equals 25 units. And that is how you go about solving that problem. Now the next one is quite a lengthy problem and it's asking us to sketch the graph of y equals x plus 3, x minus 1. Clearly showing the graph cuts the axis and the axis of symmetry and the coordinates of the turning point. So your first place to go, I would always say, is find the roots, all right? So your first thing is find the roots. 
So we find them first. Okay, the roots are when y equals zero. So we'll get x plus three bracket x minus one equals zero. And just like before, we'll split these brackets um, in two, and we'll get the values of x. So in this case, x equals minus three, and x equals one. So we know that's where it's going to cut the x-axis. Now, we can then find either the turning point or the y-intercept. Because we're dealing still with the roots, we can find the turning point first. Okay. So again, the turning point, x value, is found by adding the two roots together and taking the average. So it's going to be minus 3 plus 1 divided by 2, which is going to be minus 1. Okay, so if that's minus 1, then we want the y value. So we substitute that in to the equation that we had before. So it was y equals, and it was x plus 3, x minus 1. So if we substitute in the value of x, which is minus 1, so it's going to be minus 1 plus 3 bracket minus 1 minus 1 and that will give us a value of 2 times minus 2 so y equals minus 4 so the coordinates of the turning point is going to be minus 1 and minus 4 and then finally the last thing that we need is the y intercept Now, that's the opposite of the roots. So where it cuts the y-axis, this time, x must equal 0. So y equals, and if we substitute in 0 in here, we'll get 0 plus 3 times 0 minus 1. So y equals minus 3. So the coordinates of this is 0, minus 3. Now it asked us to sketch the graph so we need to create a plot so we'll have the y-axis the x-axis and then this is 1 2 3 call this minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 this will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 and this will be 1, 2, 3. If you are doing this in the exam, you don't necessarily have to draw it to scale, so long as you label the coordinates and they are in roughly the right position. But if you have graph paper, certainly draw it to scale. So if we plot the roots first. So our roots are going to be at minus 3 and 1. So our roots are going to be here and here. So that's where we cut the x-axis. And then the turning point is minus 1, so along to minus 1 and then down to minus 4. So along to minus 1, down to minus 4. And then the y-intercept was 0 and then minus 3. So that'll be down here. Now it doesn't have to be a work of art. So long as you've got the points in the right place, you've got the turning point correctly in the right place, and the dots are lined, connected up. So it's going to look something like this. A very dodgy graph, but it goes through all the key points, and I always like just to write the equation at the side, so it was plus 3, x plus 3, x minus 1. And that is how you solve those kind of problems there. Thanks for watching, 
Hopefully this video was helpful in solving quadratic graphs, drawing parabolas. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more maths content and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.